Hello, my name is Katrina. I don't know much about computers, but I thought, what the heck, I'll do an unboxing video. Let's see how this goes. The iBuyPower Snowblind S. If you get something out of it, let me know down in the comments. Pushing it with my feet. This is 32 pounds. It includes a gaming keyboard, a gaming mouse, a power cord, an owner's manual, and a software disc. Loves companies that aim to please aesthetics. Here is the gaming mouse. Multicolor lighting, LED ambient lighting effects, gaming optical sensor, ergonomic design. Okay, not bad, not bad. A little smaller than I thought, actually, height-wise. I think it's about 19 inches high and 7 inches wide. Oh, it's beautiful. More gorgeous than I thought. Gorgeous. So far it has two USB ports on the top, a headphone jack, a microphone jack, some other symbol, and an on and off button. Here is the back of the iBuy Power Snowblind S. Looks like this is an HDMI cord for the outside screen here. Looks like another on off switch down here. Use video ports here for display. We can rip that off. I don't like how this sticker came off, so basically the sticker left a bunch of residue. The instruction manual looks like the plug-in. They are stressing the fact that you open up the LCD side panel. Remove the expanding foam insert that protects the video card. Okay. Here's the Gigabyte motherboard. An Asus graphics card. Looks like graphics card information. A big old power cord. And... Whatever, whatever these are. Ultra Durable Z390. Oh my god, I feel like I'm reading another language. I think I need to unscrew it. Righty tighty, lefty loosey. Heavier than I thought, the screen anyway. I, I don't know what I'm looking at, but it's gorgeous. I mean, come on. GE Force RTX. It went back on very easily. Just a little bummed it's not a door that opens. Alright. Screw it in nice and tight. We're gonna do a little bit of cleaning up because there's not enough space in here for everything that came in the box. 
you can also upcycle this bag. All right, y'all. I've basically unboxed it. I think I'm gonna resume this when the sun comes back out. I'm looking forward to trying something new and seeing if this is a match for me. All right, I've got the power running. So far, I'm obsessed with the keyboard and the mouse instantly lit up the minute I plugged them in. The second I turned it on, it does look like it is upside down, the display, and it's asking me, let's start with region. Really hoping I didn't do something wrong there. But otherwise, it's gorgeous. I switched my monitors around. Really love these two side by side. Here is the keyboard up close and the mouse. Here is the side. Here's the top. The back. What is a little weird is that this piece right here uh, has to be plugged in right here. Without that, the screen won't turn on. I really like the way the light casts different shadows. This front panel is just beautiful. Wait, my setup. 